Alright, welcome to this review video for the new Deathstorm box set that has come out uh, from Games Workshop. Looks really nice, the artwork on the cover uh, of the box looks really, really good. Uh, so I've got mine from uh, GamingFigures.com. They do it at a discount rate. As I mentioned in other videos, it's good to try and get a hold of your stuff from the discount stores. Uh, you can save a bit of money. So it may save yourself a bit of money that way. So I'm going to do this different. Usually I've looked through the contents, but I haven't even opened this yet. So we're going to open it up and then uh, we're going to take a look at the contents inside. It looks very exciting. New Tyranid units coming out. Uh, one of them, the new Brood Broodlord, is inside this box. New Blood Angels uh, Terminator Captain is in there as well. And then a whole lot of other stuff. I'll show you the back here as well. A uh, nice spread of stuff. Uh, so if you're new to Warhammer 40,000, uh, these are the kind of starter box sets. Uh, that will help you out. I'm going to go into that a bit more later about the actual the value for money with these and uh, I think you're going to be shocked at how much value you get out of these box sets. So we'll open it up here. Take off the most exciting time to open up the product. So I do Tyranids and I do Blood Angels so it's uh, going to be of interest to me here. So immediately it's kits to start you off and a whole load of them. So you've got a Tyranny Warrior Sprue, uh, just the standard one there. More parts of the Tyranny Warriors, do your weapons. That's the newer kits, the ones that come, uh, the old kits never came with bone swords, but uh, you get those with the new kits now. And then uh, we've got Gene Steelers, that's enough to make four of them, eight of them says you're eight Gene Steelers, one of those squads that you get in the game. And then it's part of the Carnifex set there with all the heads, there's the rest of the Carnifex there. You get a lot of kits in this box set, it's good value. There's the uh, Def Company uh, sprues, if you've got enough to make the Def Company there, and also it comes with jump packs if you want to turn them into uh, to give them the uh, jump pack ability in the game. And you're onto your standard Terminators there. And you've got more parts there for the card effects. So these are all standard kits here. And then there's a couple that are special ones. There's the uh, Dreadnought. Now this one here, it can be the Death Company Dreadnought as you see on the box, but it can also be the Furioso Dreadnought and the uh, Librarian uh, Dreadnought as well. So you've got multiple options there um, for that kit. Everything's a standard. There's the new bases there. Now I'm just wondering. Yeah, what makes that interesting is that this base is for the Carnifex, and that's not a regular base for the Carnifex, so the Games Workshop are re-doing their bases here. 2013, that base. This one, 2013. It's quite unique. Not sure where I'll use them. Right, so the unique parts here. The uh, Terminator Captain. Now, you just, you're quite restricted with it. You get the Thunder Hammer and the Storm Bolter, and then there's not much leeway in there. But that, he is unique to this box set, and he'll have new, unique, unique rules uh, in the uh, supplement booklet that you get. But nice looking, that one. Uh, if you're collecting Blood Angels, uh, it's nice to have a unique figure in your force. And then this is the Broodlord that was really interesting to see. It's a huge model for a Broodlord. Anyway, nice base that it comes on. And uh, big sets of claws on there. Looks really nice. And you get your bases in there, a couple of transfers, all seems good, nothing missing. Right, and inside here, what's really, really good about these box sets is you get a full set of the rules. And it's actually really nice. If you're a Blood Angels player, then uh, it's exciting to have uh, your own rule book with Blood Angels on the front. Very, very nice indeed. So it's the same rule book as you get in the Dark Vengeance set, except uh, they've changed the cover uh, to match the theme 
uh, of this campaign. So, and that Dark Vengeance set's for good value as well. You get a lot of kits in there and more unique units that you can't buy separately. Uh, in this one, you get a lot of standard ones uh, and then a couple of unique ones the uh, Broodlord and then the Terminator Captain. So, that's the rule book. And just for getting this alone uh, is handy enough, plus all of those kits. Uh, then you're onto your instructions here. So, you're not missing out on anything, it's all included. Those are in there to help you assemble the parts. And then the campaign supplement. So you, if you wanted to go in this direction, you can immerse yourself in the actual campaign uh, and then follow along as the new products are released. The production quality is very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice. So it's got a card cover to it. Yeah, that Terminator Captain does look nice. Does look very nice indeed. So you're introduced to the, oh, here's the full artwork here. Very, very nice production. Again, another superb piece of artwork here. The Games Workshop are famous for. And uh, a lot of people saying it's the artwork that got them into the hobby. Another superb piece of artwork here. So they've really splashed out on some very, very nice uh, pieces here. See that? Very nice indeed. Another one. Just here. So plenty of black background information. Another one here. They've commissioned a whole series of paintings here. Uh, this is very nice. Right, so then they go through all of your units. Very handy for uh, painting guides, especially if you're new to the hobby. You'll be able to follow this along if you follow these colour schemes. Um, here's the Broodlord there. Right, then some unique. Yeah, then some new, uh, unique scenarios, which is good fun. And. It's all contained in the boxes. So they're not saying go out and buy a load more stuff to be able to do these missions. You can do them with the contents of the box. So if you're getting into Warhammer 40,000, you don't worry about collecting whole armies and loads of codexes and books. Just get into this uh, box set and then just stay within the bounds of that. You've got your rule book, you've got your missions, uh, you've got your units, uh, and then I would just get into that. And uh, you'll have just as much fun uh, as you would playing larger games. Uh, Storm of Blood, another mission there. Shadow of the Beast, another mission there. And then it goes into the units here. Uh, which is going to be interesting because I'm interested in taking this guy as the new leader for my new Blood Angels force. So uh, there's potential. 160 points, is a, that's quite expensive. Terminator armor, Storm Bolt, Iron Halo. Counter attack, furious charge, independent character. Strategic genius, this warlord possesses a natural gift for planning and executing wars. You have plus one to seize initiative rolls. Right, in addition, whilst your warlord is live, you can reroll any reserves. That's good. That is good, he gets that as standard. It's always one I wanted to roll up on the traits, and he comes with that automatically. The relic of battle, hammer of battle, uh, AP2, double the strength, melee weapon, concussive, master crafted. Specialist weapon, unwieldy, so it's slightly better uh, being master crafted there. So that seems alright. Uh, it's two up armor, four plus invun for the iron halo, LD10, three attacks, initiative five, three wounds, uh, weapon skill six, ballistic skill five. So he is good. He's quite expensive in points, but he's good. I'd like to stick him with my thunder hammer terminators, perhaps. You've got a standard squad there, uh, just the usual rules, I'd imagine. Standard Death Company, Death Company Dreadnought. And then uh, they give you all of your rules here. Now I haven't seen the new codex yet, so there's some new rules here uh, for the Blood Angels that I'll be interested in. So then if you take this formation, uh, you get the benefits from it. Set up there. Okay. 
So Jane steers, and I'm just going to run through to see if that brood lord comes separate. No, so these details are on here. So that whole squad, eight Jane steers plus the brood lord is 215 points. So Jane steers stats are just the usual. And the Jane steers come with Scyvan turns and rending claws, that's fine. And then uh, in the codex, I might not take. I'm tempted to take this unit from a revamped Tyranny Force because uh, I like this model. And uh, Gene Steers are cool, but I might, may not take eight, it may take six, so I can deduct the points cost off of that for standard Gene Steers. Um, but anyway, so they all come fully loaded out there. Gene Steers, that's fine. And then the Spawn of Cryptus. Weapon skill seven. Strength and toughness five, three wounds, very good. Initiative seven, four attacks, four up save, very nice indeed. Uh, Spawn of Cryptus knows the horror and dominion psychic powers. Interesting. Very good. So he has two powers to use there. Uh, he's bulky, his fleet infiltrates, move through cover. And stealth. Very good. Very good. And I think that applies to the whole unit. Very good. Innate understanding. Spawn crypt is saying the warlord has been engineered so he instinctively knows the best methods defeating his enemies. The warlord. This warlord has the preferred enemy special rule. Very good. Yeah. So the, my revamped tyranny force you may well see this little formation in there. Very good indeed. So I'm impressed by that. 215 points. As I said, I can modify that. You know, drop a couple of genes to um, I can uh, play around with the points cost there to fit him into the force. Uh, but I think that'd be a good fun unit to have. And then the look of it as well. Love the sculpt on that model. Uh, Hive Warriors. Just standard rules there. Beast of Fodia. Card effects, and then you get your benefits for taking the whole swarm. Uh, they've included the psychic powers in the back here as well. That's good. Rules of synapse and so on. So it's all contained. It's very good. So Dominion. Uh, just to refresh this, I don't know these off the top of my head. Targets the psycho whilst his power is in effect. The psycho has plus six to his synapse range. If a psycho does not have a synapse creature, raw gains. Hit for the duration of this power as a synapse range of six. All right, okay, fair enough. Uh, so he could tag up with other units and get them within synapse range. Could team up with a Ravenna unit in the force. So that's interesting enough. Uh, and then the horror. It's a malediction that targets a single enemy unit within 24. You must take a pinning test with minus two to their leadership. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, and then you've got your rules there. So that's why I like the look of this set here. Um, the the fact that you get the rule book in there, you get a whole lot of units of very good value uh, for money, and then those couple of unique ones that both of them, the captain, and then also uh, the broadlord, I'm interested in for the two of the forces that I have, Blood Angels and the Tyranids. So very impressed by the box set. But there's something else that I think you will be impressed by. I've been doing a little bit of maths. Here. Now, I went onto the Games Workshop store the other day and it said these box sets were out of stock. And I thought to myself, well, that's crazy, they can't be doing that. It says here, watch out for more Shield of Bell products. If, if Games Workshop want people to follow on with this campaign, they've got to keep the stock levels up. Um, one, of the, one of the frustrating things is if they bring out something and then it all runs out of stock and then no one else can get a hold of it. Uh, like the old Space Hulk game. Uh, where uh, they brought it out as brand new, a lot of people bought them and then they ran out and then a lot of people wanted to get the game but haven't been able to. So uh, I hope Games Workshop don't go down that route that they keep things available for people and don't do these limited runs uh, and then a lot of people get disappointed, especially with this campaign. They want people to buy the first box set and then continue on uh, with the campaign as it goes along. I went on there today and they're back in stock again, These, so uh, that's good news. So the retail for this is uh, 75 
pounds and then the question I'm asking is is that good value for the contents that you get I've been doing a little bit of maths here uh, so for the Tyranids the if you buy these items separately uh, the Carnifex is £32.50 on its own, this is the normal retail price from Games Workshop uh, Gene Steelers are £18 for eight of them uh, the Warriors £31 and then uh, you can't buy this Broodlord separate um, but the Broodlord equivalent on the Games Workshop website uh, is £15.50 so we'll just say it's that price perhaps worth a bit more and then over here for the Blood Angels uh, the Dreadnought is £28 to buy by itself Death Company is £20.50 and then the Terminators are £28 to buy separate and then the Captain, again you can't buy them separate um, but the Space Marine Captain equivalent uh, is £18, perhaps worth a bit more, maybe and then uh, not forgetting the rule book uh, which you can get on eBay for it's about £20, it varies. Uh, in the campaign supplement, I'm not going to put a value on that, it's just unique to this box, really. Um, so, if you add that all up, that comes to £211.50, and Games Workshop are retailing the box at £75. So, uh, you don't just save a little bit, that's a tremendous saving there. I mean, you've got and for points wise uh, you've got that's 300 points, 500 points, six, you've got 600 points 650 points army here um, on both sides so you're getting incredible uh, value for money and also for points when you, you're way past the 500 point mark uh, just by getting this box set so you're at 75 pounds and then as I was talking about in other videos, if you then buy the box set from one of the discount retailers, they'll give you uh, up to usually about 20% off. Gamingfigures.com, uh, they do 15% off, and then if your order comes to over £100, which for Games Workshop it usually will, uh, they give you another 5% off on top of that. So uh, they'll give you an extra 20% off on top of that. So that uh, takes it from £70 down to about £60. So for £60 you're getting £211.50 worth of stuff. So as far as value for money goes these box sets are excellent. I'm glad Games Workshop do them. Um, and this isn't the only one that they do. Uh, there's a number of, of others so you've got different factions. Uh, it's just a good way to start the hobby or to start off uh, an army. If I was fresh, if I was going to collect Blood Angels um, I would buy it. I uh, would probably buy uh, this box set. It gets me a set of the rules, gets me a Blood Angels Force to start off with. And that's a decent enough size force. Um, and then I can either paint this up as an opposing force or sell it or trade it with someone else um, and pay those, pay off the value of those. So I think it's excellent value for money. And uh, it's a nice box set. And they really have done it really well. The artwork is superb uh, for this box set as well. And there's loads of other supplement books and things if you want to immerse yourself. And in this particular campaign, uh, then Games Workshop really provided for that very well indeed. So that's the review uh, for Death Storm. It's a very nice box set, rated very highly, and then it's an excellent value for money. So a lot of pluses for this one. And uh, as I mentioned, you can get it uh, at uh, cheaper, 20% off, if you go over to gamingfigures.com. So that's the video. Uh, check out painting tutorials for both of these forces and Tactica for them. Uh, paint tutorial for the Blood Angels, show you how to paint them each step of the way, and then also uh, for the Tyrians in my own unique colour scheme as well. And then battle reports for both of these forces on the channel as well. So that's the review, it's a good product, and uh, thanks for watching and tune in next time.